What made you go, ah garbage, here we go again. When I read, we thank you for the time and effort you have spent in the application process. Quote. When your mom yells your name from across the house, so you yell, what, but she doesn't reply. When my sleep schedule has finally started to normalize and I've fallen asleep before 1 a.m. a few nights in a row, but then suddenly one night I go to bed at midnight and can't fall asleep till 5 a.m. for no apparent reason. Every time my older sister gets into a relationship with red flags. Mojo Jojo attacking the city of Townsville. Every time a teacher starts a group project. Every time I turn on incognito mode. Simple, but I walk everywhere. Takes me an hour to get to my nearest supermarket, went there and got home with shopping. Forgot the main thing I went for. Ah garbage, here we go again. Window 10 update. When my Russian colleague starts talking about Russia and how much better it is than the UK. Still not sure why she's here. When my ex would begin arguing after we had just spent last 11 hours fighting on my day off. Playing San Andreas the 15th time. Every morning, when my son wakes up the house at 6 a.m. When I just took a garbage and can feel bowel movement again. Most recently, my paternal grandfather exhibiting signs of Alzheimer's. My maternal grandfather passed away from dementia, Alzheimer's in 2015, after suffering for eight long years with it. Now my paternal grandfather is forgetting things, way more than usual, withdrawing from activities he used to love, his personality has changed, he's having trouble carrying out simple tasks, and now I'm thinking, garbage, here we go again. Eight more years, or more, of constant worry, stress and panicking every time the phone rings. Did he fall? Is he lost? What happened now? Is he having another bad day? It sounds awful, but... I don't want to go through those eight years all over again. I can see my toddler's meltdowns with about a 30 second lead time. He's three and he had one the other day because I told him he could not go back to being two years old. Waking up early to go to work. So starting a conversation with, we need to talk precursor to now being single again. I'm a moody person. Out of nowhere something triggers my melancholic mood and I can't get out of it for a week and I'm like fluff. Music helps. Monday. Prison. Recent R. Askredit posts about politics. My dad died in hospital in December 2012, was there for eight days in end stage of motor neuron disease ALS. In May 2013 my mom was admitted to the same hospital and as I walked back into the hospital I had the horrible sinking feeling of garbage, here we go again. I wish this story had a happier ending. Mum was diagnosed with stage 3 ovarian cancer and died just over two years later. They were only 65 when they died. Way too soon. Edit more details. My dog eating her own poo. Rejection after interview. Waking up with this fierce pain in my belly, realizing I'll have to go to the hospital to get my kidneys looked at, again. Every time that Whitesnake's song comes on. Edit, thanks for the silver, stranger, smiley face. Every time I go for a drink lol. Just one means I am gonna come home at 4 in the morning steaming drunk and wishing I was never born the morning. My aunt and brother discussing weed. She is hellbent on it being just as dangerous as heroin. I can agree that it might be a slippery slope, but please don't even compare the two. When someone admits depression, self-harm, suicide people, we gotta treat people better, one week later to some random person who made a mistake. People, look at this butt, they are scum of the earth, I hope their career dies and they live their life in misery, repeat cycle. When I've beaten very difficult boss and he enters stage 2. My birds waking the whole neighborhood up at 2 in the morning. Every time I get called back into the back office at work. Doing chores you hate doing. Life. Each time my boss calls a mandatory all-staff meeting and it just so happens that it's on my day off, during my sleep hours, oh and it's tomorrow, we sent out a memo last Friday. When school starts back up. Going to work as a security guy. Whenever my brother finds a new thing to obsess about. I don't mean like a new video game or something trivial. I mean like diving head first into the deep end for things like cryptocurrency and losing bad, toxic relationships, he even changed his entire religion because Russian orthodoxy is neato. That late night, I miss you. Every single time I have ever caught feelings for anyone in my entire life. 
This includes when I cut my dreads off a few years back and was suddenly wildly sexually attracted to myself. I knew I'd only break my heart. I had to let myself go. My friend, who every time gets in a new relationship and introduce me to her boyfriend. Ah garbage, here we go again. Because she will be in love for a month then will be full of drama and complaints after honeymoon stage has passed. Then break up then badmouth him to everyone and say there's no good men around. Every day of life my dude. Failing an exam which you failed earlier twice. When I'm reading a book and realize I haven't been paying attention while reading the last two pages. So I start again. The 2020 election. When I try to tell my parents a joke but somehow they find a way to turn it into a life lessons. I was just telling a joke come on. When you accidentally delete your save data on a game. Honey, I'm pregnant. Quote. When you're touching cloth and you realize that the discomfort you've been experiencing is gas and you're about to unleash a turd plug followed by a brown torrent of burning butt piss all over the inside of your porcelain poop station so you grab your phone and then casually browse reddit while waiting for the bum trickle to subside but you end up just scrolling through reddit for several minutes after it's all over and you realize the empty meaninglessness of your life as the poop water slowly dries on your taint. When your mom gets back with fluffing Trevor and he tries to bond with you so you kick him in the ball cause beats you at video games. When my ex starts adding me back on social media again after deleting me and blocking me for no reason whatsoever. Drugs. Falling in love with one of my best friends. The ah garbage, here we go again wasn't for falling in love with one of my best friends again, though. Uh, it's just the feeling of falling in love and having this weird anxiety that is associated with it. That part is affecting me right now. When my alarm clock rings. Having a long comment discussion with some idiot, for example Flat Earther. He's done with arguments and seems like he's giving up, and so I hope I can finally go to sleep, but then a new Flat Earther emerges from the dark side of the internet, ready for round two. Waking up today. Every time my fiancé says my name in a specific tone. The fourth time me car was stolen. Waking up each morning. Typing Abby instead of baby to my girlfriend who's not named Abby. Area 51 memes. Whenever Trump tweets. In my P. E. Class our coach let us do whatever we wanted so we beat the living shot out of each other. I was usually last to get there and so I would enter a dark locker room with one though. Ah garbage, here we go again. Luckily I was the best at self-defense and fighting so I surveyed the ambush. Getting out of the shower in the morning, just to feel that pangs of a giant dump coming. I got thrown down in wrestling practice. Destroying my shoulder and needled surgery. Before surgery it dislocated repeatedly. I got the surgery and everything seemed good. Fast forward to the next season the very first practice I reach out for a shot and my shoulder dislocated. The first surgery never worked. And I needed a second one. That really sucked. Uh, school. Mexican food. This one time I woke up at 3 a.m. and I woke up and said, ah garbage here we go again without thinking. And I sounded exactly like CJ and now can't do it as good as I did that night. Dota 2 update, updating it right now tbh. Getting hit with that can we talk text. When people get drunk and start fights. Ulcer. Made me go ah garbage literally and figuratively. Going back to the worst place in the world, Rolling Heights Ballas Country. I ain't represented Grove Street in 5 years, but the Ballas won't give a garbage. Finding out another loved one was diagnosed with cancer. Extreme theme park rides when they slow down but then start going again. When dehydrated Ganon came back in Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild 2 teaser. Dying in Minecraft then having to go back in the same cave to retrieve your stuff. Rewatching The Office for the fourth time. When we go back to school. When Trump tweets. My stepmother. Every school shooting. There are far too many for a civilized country. Fluffing Android app updates. If Facebook wasn't such garbage in the first place they wouldn't have to update it nearly every day. Every Only to continue to make it worse. Pretty much the same story for most of the other apps. Taking laxatives on my day off. This is more of a fun, here we go again, reaction, mainly due to being an innocent bystander.
and hash X200B, every time Bethesda made another public PR announcement with regards to Fallout 76. Time to bring out the popcorn, cause all garbage, here we go again. Every time a sexual question is asked on Reddit. My last roommate was an entitled manchild who could barely keep a job. Any time he'd come home with some new excuse for why he quit a job, I'd immediately think, ah garbage, here we go again. Quote. 